the reason we don't see many craters on the surface of the Earth, like we do on the Moon, is because Earth is geologically active. What that basically means is that while well, the whole solid surface of our planet is floating under magma. And because this whole thing we are on is floating, it moves. And because of that, continents move and change their shape. And so does the whole surface. Meaning, when asteroids hit our surface, as the surface moves, the craters that asteroids created disappear slowly. That's why our surface does not look cratered like the moon's surface. Despite that, there are some traces of giant craters on Earth. The largest impact crater on Earth is Vredefort Dome. It is 300 kilometers long and is the largest found crater on the surface of the Earth. There may be even larger ones under the oceans, we can't know for sure. But what are the largest craters in the solar system? Well, let's start with our moon. The largest impact crater there is Aitken Basin, located in the south wall of the moon. This crater is stunningly 2,500 kilometers long. It is eight times longer than the longest crater on Earth. It is gigantic. The surface area of the crater is 4,900,000 kilometers square, which is larger than India, but smaller than Australia. So it's pretty large, but it is not so clearly visible. But upon looking at it a bit better, there is a ridge that shows that it is an impact crater. Now let's go to the planet that is closest to the Sun, that is Mercury. Its largest crater is Calories Planitia, and it is 1550 kilometers in diameter. And it has the surface area similar to Mexico in size. But there is a crater that is half the size of Calories Planitia, but is also gigantic, but most importantly, clearly visible, that is Rembrandt. Now let's check out the largest crater on Venus, Mead Crater. Surprisingly, it is 280 kilometers in diameter, which is smaller than the largest crater on Earth, but still, the crater is not visible from space, as it is covered with a layer of atmosphere 93 times thicker than the Earth's atmosphere. Now let's see what Mars has. Its largest crater is Hellas Planitia, and unlike one on the moon, this crater is clearly visible. So it is the largest visible impact crater in the solar system. Hellas Planitia is 2,300 kilometers in diameter, or larger than India, but smaller than Australia in surface area. This crater is also amazingly 7 kilometers deep. At the bottom is also where the pressure is the greatest on the whole surface of Mars. Mars also contains the largest confirmed impact basin in the solar system. The Utopia Basin is 3,300 kilometers long. Now let's go further away from the Sun and see a crater on Mimas, which is a moon of Saturn. Its largest crater is Herschel Crater. It is 140 kilometers in diameter, which is not much, but the impact is 12 kilometers deep, which is deeper than the Mariana Trench. So, asteroid that hit that place seriously shattered that piece of land that was there. Now, another moon of Saturn, Iapetus, contains two very large craters. One is on the dark side of the moon, the Torgus crater. It is 580 kilometers in diameter, and it is the third largest in the solar system that is most obviously visible. And the other crater is on a very bright side of the moon. It is called Angelier Crater. Now, Iapetus is one very weird moon. No one really knows how those two bright and dark sides came to be on the moon. And now, let's visit Pluto's basin, which is Sputnik Basin. It is around 900 kilometers in diameter, and this impact even sticks out in color. It is also very much smooth. Those are pretty much the largest and most interesting craters in the solar system. Still, we haven't imaged 100% of the surfaces in the solar system. There may be new large craters that we haven't found yet. 